I'm a great man, a great man. I am doing great things. The woman that supports me, that I support, needs to be a great woman. Coretta Scott King, you know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama, Barack Obama's wife. I know, I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't have gone out, I'm no, no, sorry. Someone who compares himself to MLK and Barack Obama is not gonna come across as very likable. The actor started the day upbeat in court, laughing and smiling. But then, during his attorney's closing argument, he wiped away a tear. Jonathan also confirmed he would not be testifying on his own behalf. I'm surprised Majors didn't testify. It may have been a good legal move, but it's probably not a good PR move. People are going to want to know his side of the story. The jury has a lot of evidence to consider. Body cam footage and surveillance video of the actor seemingly pushing his ex back into their SUV. Plus, these police photos. When you're looking at the evidence, the most damaging is the cut behind her ear. The 34-year-old has pleaded not guilty to assault and harassment. If convicted, he faces up to a year in jail. Oh, you want to know how I got locked up? So how could all this impact his career? This is why. Jonathan's MCU villain is a major part of Loki on Disney+. Plus. He's also slated to do two more Marvel films, although neither have started shooting. He's also attached to star in a movie playing Dennis Rodman. Jurors love celebrities, so Majors may still win this case, but this is about the court of public opinion. And the fact that there are these damaging videos that show at least some sort of violence, that may be too much for Majors to ever overcome here in Hollywood.